We track storms to alert you first. This is KIMT Storm Team 3, weather coverage you can count on. Welcome back to KMT News 3 at 6 on your Wednesday night. And if you're stepping outside, not good right now, but Aaron, there's <laughs> hope. There's hope in the forecast. There is. We're finally talking about some nicer temperatures as we get ahead to next week. It's going to be cloudy, but it will be mild. We got highs back in the 30s. We might even make a run for 40 here one week from today. We're tracking a nice warm up, more mild temperatures here across a large part of the upper Midwest where we have that red and especially the darker red indicating some pretty mild temperatures. Now, as we look live at uh, Highway 52, things are looking pretty quiet right now. Here's a look at downtown Rochester showing temperatures. Yeah, on the chilly side into the single digits. We're currently at six, but it does feel like it is below zero with a west wind at seven miles per hour. Mason City got you at 12 degrees for now. Going to see those temperatures dipping down briefly into the single digits and we'll kind of hover there here the next couple of days. But by the weekend, that's when things start to warm up, especially here by Sunday. For now, though, 12 and it does feel like it is just four degrees above zero. Elsewhere across the area, we got Austin at 10. Alberly, the sensor is down right now, but it, hopefully that will come back up soon, but likely around 10 degrees as well there in Alberly. Radar is clear for now, but to our south, we got some light snow showers making their way through here south of Mason City. A few flurries, not really going to amount to anything here for tonight, but tomorrow, a little different story because we're tracking a system that's going to be building in here into the Midwest, and that will bring some light snow across the area as we get towards tomorrow afternoon. Looking at tomorrow morning, we got clouds in the forecast. It's going to be uh, another day with uh, northerly winds keeping us on the cold side into the upper single digits to around 10 for tomorrow. And then as we get into the afternoon, here we are at lunchtime. That winter weather advisory going into effect for Mason City, Northwood and Forest City. Light snow starting to build in and the heaviest snow, well, not really heavy, but heavier snow than we see across southern Minnesota. That's going to be confined here into North Iowa where there is potential for some light accumulations. And right now, we're talking about one to three inches here where that winter weather advisory is in effect that makes get extended here to the east and then a trace to a couple of inches across southern Minnesota. Heaviest snow for tomorrow for Thursday is going to stay here across Iowa and a little bit higher amounts just further south of our area. So most likely case one to two inches of snow. Most areas will see at least a trace and a couple spots could see at most three inches of snowfall here for the day. Your seven day forecast and where the weekend is always in view showing some sunshine back in the forecast here by Saturday. Still on the cold side, starting off below zero in the morning. We get back to six for a high and then we start our warm up. We got 30s back in the forecast and we are talking about a better chance of rain than snow here by Tuesday and Wednesday.